Here's the question people ask me. Do I really need to learn three basic forms for every Russian verb? In two other videos, I kept telling you that it is a really good idea to learn not just the infinitive, but three principal parts, the ya, the, and ani forms. That's because the infinitive just isn't a good guide to figuring out other forms. But why learn these three forms in particular? Well, here's why. The ani form, the third-person plural, will often be your best guide to other forms like imperatives, which you'll use to tell or ask someone to do something. The ani form is also a good starting point for certain participles. You may not see these in first-year classes, but they're essential for reading documents or books or understanding formal Russian. It's good to take note of the ya form because its stem sometimes looks a little different from the stem of the infinitive. And knowing the stress of the ya form can be important for forming the imperative, too. And with some verbs, the stem of the ya and ani forms might be a little different from other forms. So, knowing the ti form, the second singular, will let you know what the other forms should look like. Now, does this work for all verbs? Well, almost. There are only four truly irregular verbs in Russian. That's not too bad. We can cover those in other videos. Summing up. This may all sound kind of complicated, but don't despair. There are patterns that you'll begin to recognize pretty soon. The takeaway for beginners is that learning the ya, the, and ani forms will give you the complete picture, something you can rely on as you progress with Russian. It's worth it.